Alright, hey guys, it's Abomination9 here. We're back playing some more Pokemon trading card game online. Uh, we left off, we were opening up more packs, which is probably the worst one I've ever gotten, but it's also the first time I ever got a break. But that's all I got was that break card, that Mar Marowak break. Uh, now we're going to be opening up five, um, five packs and a chest, I believe I have. Now, I would have had more than these, uh, but... The I don't know what's wrong with the meta right now, but there's nothing but uh, pro tryhards playing right now, running like professional uh, championship decks. Like I don't understand what the heck's going on right now. Like I've watched the Pokemon TCG championships, like the actual championships, and everyone's running decks that you would be running then. It's like where are all these people coming from? All these champions? Like, there's no point in me even playing right now because I can't get ahead. There's no way I can beat someone running a broken championship deck. Uh, so yeah, like I, I tried, but I can't. I mean, I was trying to get my um challenge for right now, but I just couldn't get any damage in because like I'm just getting rocked by these championship decks, uh, and I couldn't get anywhere in versus mode because I just couldn't win. I was like, you know what? Just, just screw it. I'll just do these five. Uh, though, uh, talking about that, I'll, I just want to say this right now, just in case you don't know, there is a 24 ticket standard uh, tournament going on right now, which uh, you can earn 20, uh, 20 booster packs if you actually win, which of course I don't have 24 tickets to actually get in there, as you can see I only have 4, I can only do a theme, which let's actually just see what's for theme, 3 boosters, okay. Uh, but yeah, I got most of these packs that I'm about to open from doing tournaments. Uh, that's why I can actually trade them. I bought one. This chest was from a tournament as well. I obviously, if you lose, all you get is a chest. If you're at the very bottom. Not even worth. Oh, well, 10 coins, actually. I know I was complaining about 5 yesterday, but 10's not bad. Uh, Frogadier, whatever. Uh, so what do I want to, we'll save the Fates Collides for later. Let's open up this break and then the Fists. So yeah, I, sh I just don't know what to do. Like, I'm not going to join in on this stupid parade of copycatting. Like, I hate the fact that everyone just copies each other. Like, be original for Ron. Oh, a Gengar, cool. Do I have a Gengar? I did not have a Gengar, though I do not have a Haunter or a Ghastly in this um, generation, so I can't use his Gengar anyways. But hey, man, a Gengar is pretty cool. And it's holographic as well. Sinister Fog, your opponent's active Pokemon is now Poison. Put one damage counter on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Whoa, that's, re that's a really good attack. If the opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. So if the Poison hit ticks three times, they're dead. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's very... It's a slow kill, but at least... It, I mean, it gets the job done. It's Gengar. I mean, come on. Though, I'm, I'm one of those people who prefers Haunter over Gengar, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm not gonna join this parade of using copycat decks you find off the internet. Like, make your own deck. Be original. What is all, all these sheep nowadays? Like, come on now. Okay, we're not really... Nothing too faint. Wait, what's this? Attacks of each uh, fighting Pokemon in play do 20 more damage to the defending Pokemon's EX. That's that. I could use that if it was old. Tornadus. He's uh he doesn't count. He's as anything. He's a normal. That's weird. Push down. You may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her benched Pokemon. So 20 and then a swap. Throw does something like this, but he it's 30 for a, a swap. But I said this this is you may. So it's your choice. I think throw, uh, your opponent gets to choose. A twister throw, 60 plus. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 60 more damage. So that is situational. Nothing too crazy yet. Unfortunately, we already opened up most of these, so I don't know if I can really keep this. I think I might um, just save this for later and maybe open up more packs if uh, I don't really get anything worthwhile. I'll just add this on to another video. Another Tornadus. Okay, I guess I can run a bunch of Tornaduses now. Though I don't really need them right now since I, I need... Uh, hopefully we get EXs from both of these packs. 
Oh uh, yeah, because I needed to get fighting points, though. Like I said, like I can barely get any damage in right now because everyone's running the same thing. Oh sweet, another Glaceon. So we have two of these now. Uh, and unfortunately, I think this was the pack that I can't trade. So I have two Glaceons that cannot be traded, but at least I got two of them now. That's pretty cool. I have just like a Glaceon deck. And hopefully this is also this also has an EX in it. So I can put that up. Like mostly this is just me talking about the state of the game, which is really annoying me right now. So a new Relo, a new Pupitar, double energy, which I have a lot of these already. A Delphox. Oh, this is the cool new Delphox with a uh, nice holographic. So flickering flames, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep, so 40 and asleep. And uh, this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all Pokemon in place. So this does a lot of damage if you have, if there's energy spread out all over the place. So th these are really good cards, but there's no EXs. Like, I have like so many videos on my channel of just EXs after EXs after EXs. And now it's, just, it's hitting this dry spell, like they changed the uh, drop rate or something. So obviously there was a cut there, uh, I have acquired four more packs, I'm feeling generous, I'm gonna throw this on to the last video like I mentioned, or not in the last video, but this video, I mentioned that uh, I might add more if I got them, I didn't know if I wanted to just leave it like that, because all I got was a Glaceon EX, and I've already ha gotten one of those before, so I thought like, uh, I might as well just add more on, like I said, I'm feeling generous, uh, I finally powered through all that nonsense, pro... Uh, copycat sheeple nonsense that everyone is doing like think for yourself please actually uh, make an original deck just don't copycat everyone else so I'm just running like I said I'm running into people using the exact same deck over and over again okay all we got is this Renuculus or whatever how you want to pronounce his name yeah Renucle Renucle Nucleus So hopefully we actually get something since, like I said, I just worked all that time ago. It is, like I said, I think I said this, it is the same day, but I did spend all that time grinding. Okay, so we got a new fighting energy, that's cool. This attack, the attacks of uh, fighting Pokemon uh, go, go up by 20, so that's not bad. What is this? The evolution spray. De devolve one of your evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card on it into your hand. That's weird. Like, I would assume you'd use it on the opponent, not yourself. Okay, Superior. Which this one's okay. We'll read it out, because oh, it's not even holographic. During your next turn, this Pokemon's attacks do 60 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So you hit him with a coil, and then you hit him with a slashing strike, and you do, like, a buttload of damage, 140 damage. Uh, this Pokemon can't use slicing strike during your next turn, so you kind of just go back and forth between coil and slicing strike pretty good card oh that um that mouse I forgot his name he was a holographic it looked like right before, right before uh, superior oh I haven't seen that Pokemon dearling find a friend search your deck for a Pokemon reveal it and put it into your hand wow anything you can just grab whatever you want a uh, holographic Fennekin which is pretty cool has little fire puffs and it's holographic and the hologram there. Why am I getting screwed? Like, where are my doubles? Like, come on now. Oh, Moltres. Cool. Combustion, 20. A uh, Flying Flare, 80 plus. You may do 40 more damage. If you do, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. So, 120 at the cost of 20 of your health. That's, uh, that's a pretty decent card, I think. Uh, like, again, I'm getting, like, absolute crud. I'm gonna have to put Moltres, like, a basic card, in, like, the thumbnail. Come on. I didn't just spend all that time fighting all these stupid pro copycat players uh, for nothing. Oh my god, like nothing still. Bunch of coughings though, and wheezings. Two coughings in the same pack, though at least it came with a wheezing. And... Really? They must have changed the drop rate on cards. Cause you can go, you can look back at all my videos. This is video what, like 14 out of my pack openings. I've done like the 12 before the last. Cause the last one they were kind of ant too. 
So like the 12 before that, I'm just getting EX like every few packs. And this was with like, like what? Uh, nine packs and I got one EX and the rest was garbage. I mean, the Delphox is okay, Moltres is okay, um, Tornadus or whatever his name is. Like those, I guess those are technically uh, legendaries, but come on, seriously, where's my EX cards and my breaks? Though I don't think there are any breaks in uh, Fates Collide. So let's read this thing, because I don't have it, and I've never seen it before. Bone Drop. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. Very situational. Not every Pokemon has an ability. Most don't, unless... Yeah, most don't, I think. Cutting Wind, 80 damage. So it's an okay Pokemon. It's not that amazing, I think. My god, I just got screwed over. Like, all we got was a Glaceon, I think. Uh, I'm assuming Glaceon is what? I probably should have went with EXs. You know what? Let's just go through my EXs. Uh, Glaceon, yeah. Now, we have two of these. So what? I actually want to have, like, a, um... What is it? An e a a Evolution? Evolution deck? But I need more, um... I need more EXs. So we have an Umbreon. We have a Glaceon, and we have an Espeon, but we need, like, a buttload more, which I don't have. I, I gotta figure out where to get them, I guess. Also, let's just talk about this for a second. A Break Xerneas? I think that's his Pokemon name. What? That's coming up in Steam Siege. That makes me want to actually go buy the cards, so I can be able to get the uh, this Break Xerneas. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment, cheers to do. See ya.